Good day guys, my name is Dan and welcome to another episode of CryptoLite. As always, at the end of the month, we do a video highlighting the top coins to pay attention to in the next month, which for this video is the month of May. This selection of coins to pay attention to is not based on our personal preferences, but based on recent events and announcements as well as roadmaps and upcoming milestones. Every month, we have a different number of coins to recommend to you because some months there are more events happening and other months there is just less busy. The month of May is looking to be a very busy month and this month we have not just 3 or 5 coins to recommend but we have actually 7 coins and 1 ICO to recommend to you. Also, the market is picking up nicely and we seem to be coming out of the bull run. And so many people have been predicting that May to June is when we will see the start of the next bull run. If that happens, then these coins that we're going to recommend might fall more the hardest because they're going to get the most publicity because of upcoming events. The last thing I want to say before I begin is that this video is only for highlighting the coins and the events to look out for. It is not a deep review of every coin. If you want to learn more about the coin, do subscribe and follow our channel as we will be doing a full review on each of these coins in the upcoming weeks closer to the events. Our community on Telegram also has a very big say in which coin we review next. So if you would like to vote for a particular coin to be reviewed, do join in our Telegram chat with the link in the description box below. Alright, without further ado, let's jump into our top 7 coins for the month of May. Our first pick for the month of May is Ripple. Ripple has been gaining some momentum over the past month with some announcements including Centena launching the first mobile app for global payments using Ripple's X Current. And very recently, XVIA announced 5 new partners just a few days ago. But momentum alone simply means that the crypto community is aware and following this coin a bit more closely recently, but there still needs to be a catalyst event for the token price to take off in the month of May. That catalyst event may very well be Snoop Dogg performing at the Ripple Invite Only event in New York City on the 15th of May. Even though this article says that Snoop Dogg is promoting Ripple, technically he's not actually promoting Ripple, he's just performing at the Ripple Community Night. Nonetheless, this event is going to attract a lot of attention and potential investors for Ripple, not just from across the crypto community, but also from the active followers of the pop world. When we look at price point, Ripple hasn't really recovered as spectacularly as some other coins have in the last couple of weeks. At its peak, it was just under $3.60 in January and currently is only sitting at $0.87. Cents. Most coins over the last couple of weeks have recovered to at least a third of their all-time high, which for Ripple would be a price point around $1.20, but it's currently is still pretty far from that price point. So personally, I think that there is still a lot of room for Ripple to rise and they have one of the biggest communities communities in the crypto space with recent good announcements and momentum so they should be able to get decent hype and FOMO around the upcoming event. Talking about social media events, our next coin to pay attention to is Substratum. This isn't an upcoming event, it's one that happened yesterday. Basically, Substratum launched a mini documentary that will be aired nationwide on net neutrality about how Substratum is planning to decentralize the web. The target audience number, check this out, is 60 million homes. Yes, not 60,000, 60 million homes. And this is homes, not viewers. So if each home had 3 or 4 viewers, that's a total of 180 to 240 potential million viewers. This might be the biggest publicity stunt that any crypto project has ever put off to date. If even 1% of those viewers took note of Substratum, that would be an enormous boost to the project. Even though the mini documentary was launched yesterday, positive price action has already begun to happen. If you look at the price action over the last two days, uh, you see a very, very positive price action with the price rising from around 65 cents all the way to about 80 cents today. There hasn't actually been any major breakthrough though in terms of substratum technology or any other major roadmap events coming soon. So what I think will happen is that uh, substratum will pick up momentum and carry it through over the next one to two weeks. Uh, and then after that, the momentum will probably fall off unless something, a new announcement is announced. The next coin that we are going to keep our eye on in May is IOTA. As you can see here, there's quite a few upcoming events happening for IOTA over the next four weeks. 
Today is the day that they are planning to do the snapshot. Tomorrow is the day they are expected to be listed on Cobinwood, which is the zero transaction fee crypto exchange. And on the 13th of May, they have the Trinity Wallet audit. And on the 24th of May, their co-founder Dominic Schneider will be attending a TNW conference as the speaker. The snapshot for IOTA, by the way, is not an airdrop snapshot as most of us think of when we think of the word snapshot. Um, it's actually part of the way they maintain their technology called Tango and users get rewarded after that. The significance of this is that in order to keep things simple, uh, quite a number of users will actually choose to run a node after the snapshot rather than before that because it can be quite troublesome in terms of converting your node after and before a snapshot. Now, I won't go into the technical details here, but if you are interested, do look out for our upcoming IOTA full review coming later this month. Now, the many events they have isn't the main anticipation, actually, for the IOTA in the month of May. The main anticipation for IOTA is actually a potential partnership. IOTA is already partnered with Fujitsu, and recently there was an announcement or tweet that said that Intel, the major chip maker, is collaborating with Fujitsu on the very same project that Fujitsu is already partnered with IOTA on. So this is the project combining AI and IoT vision. So naturally, a lot of people begin to speculate that a potential partnership with IOTA and Intel may happen. Now, whilst I don't usually pay attention to speculations, with this one, I think this may actually happen. And if it does happen, it will be big news that will definitely affect the price point of IOTA in a positive way. IOTA is currently sitting at $2.08. At its peak, it was $5. So it still has a lot of room to recover. And at the moment, IOTA is kind of traveling with the pack, meaning that it's rising and falling as much as Bitcoin and the general market is rising and falling. But hopefully, the month of May will see IOTA begin to stand out from the pack. The fourth coin that we want to uh, talk to you guys about for the month of May is Sophia TX. Now, this, as you guys know, is one of my favorite coins. Sophia TX has had a lot of momentum recently. Just four days ago, it announced a partnership with Hyperledger, and about 10 days ago, it was named Blockchain of the Year by CIO Applications. It was also in the top list of Enterprise Security, which says a lot because when we recommended Sophia TX as a good buy back in March, as well as we did a full review a couple of weeks ago, the, when we did the review a couple of weeks ago, its token price was only 19 cents. And when it was at 19 cents, it was sitting somewhere around the 250 ranking on the market. So it's very unusual for a coin with such a low ranking on the market to receive honors such as blockchain of the year. However, in just a mere two weeks, Sophia's token price is now 58 cents and is sitting around the 150 ranking on the market. So the price has literally tripled and its ranking got up by 100 slots in just two weeks. Sophia TX is really a marketplace blockchain project where they try to integrate their tech into SAP and other backbone systems that the Forbes 100 companies are currently using. And the reason I'm telling you a bit of the Sophia background is because uh, in May they are due to launch their Sophia TX marketplace. Uh, this basically means that they are going to start inviting business to start using the project. This is a massive milestone for the project because their core business is really uh, integrating their software into ledger companies. Also, where many blockchain um, projects often fail to deliver on their roadmap, so their roadmap will say that they are going to launch this um, milestone at this point in time, but maybe one or two weeks before they will say we can't really hit our deadline, so we're going to push it back and delay. Sophia, on the other hand, has always been ahead of the roadmap. If they announce something about the roadmap, it's to announce that they're going to push the deadline forward because they're ahead of schedule. In fact, this release of the marketplace is going to be done early because they are ahead of the schedule. There are also other very exciting events on their roadmap that is happening in the near future, meaning anywhere between the second and third quarter of this year, although no exact dates are given. The events that we can look out forward to include Sophia Wallet and Token, Sophia Development Platform, File Storage, SAP Connect, and then Mainnet is due to be launched in July. So then we assume that the ones that we just spoke about will be will happen before the Mainnet is launched. So it can happen any time be, between now until July. So you know, in the month of May, we may hear of more um, new developments besides just the marketplace.
I think Sophia TX is really a winning project with a lot of room still to grow. I definitely recommend checking out Sophia Review if you haven't. Uh, it's at least worth knowing what this coin is about. Talking about small cap coins, another coin that's flying under the radar that we think is uh, going to have a good month of May is the INT or the Internet Node Token. Now, INT has a promotion that's happening right now where they're giving away 300,000 tokens to the community for joining the Telegram group chat. Each person who joins gets 10 INT tokens for free and each referral that they um, refer subsequently is worth another 10 tokens. The crypto community always loves this kind of uh, promotion so it's hopeful that a lot of people will start joining this and their awareness will go up. But that's not the big news for the month of May, that's only the teaser. The big news about INT is that their mainnet is due to be launched at the end of May. Actually, they just launched their beta uh, 2.0, so the beta mainnet, only um, a few days ago. Now, INT Chain 2.0, which is their current beta, is very significant. The 2.0 as opposed to the 1.0. 1.0 was just proof of work for them, but 2.0 uh, signals the transition over to a hybrid model between proof of work and proof of state. And now these days, everyone loves staking. No one really likes uh, proof of work or mining anymore. So once again, follow our channel if you want to find out more about the internet node token coming soon this month, or rather our review of the token coming soon this month. So mainnet launch generally is the biggest news that any blockchain protocol or platform project can have because it is their main product as a project. So if there's ever going to be a time that INT will take off, then this month, May, where they're going to launch mainnet will be that time. At its all-time high, INT was sitting at um, 86 cents. Currently, it's only sitting at 38 cents. So it's definitely still got a lot of room uh, to grow. Speaking about mainnets, there are two very big coins that stand out in May for the upcoming mainnets. And these are our last two uh, recommended coins to keep your eye on in the month of May. And the first is Tron. Now, Tron has had an absolute killer of a month. Ever since mainnet was launched at the end of March, uh, sorry, ever since the testnet was launched at the end of March, Tron has just been gaining more and more momentum and the price has been steadily rising. We predicted back in March that Tron was going to have a great run and it did. Tron is one of those very hyped coins in the crypto space that you either love or hate it. But either way, you cannot deny that since testnet, Tron has been doing really well. Post test that all their nodes that have been are being tested are running really well, and they also have the most codes being uploaded regularly. And this means that tech wise, they are the blockchain project that's doing the most work in the crypto space. Recently, they also got listed on Bitrix and got a USD uh, TRX listing, meaning that they are now an official gateway crypto. So people can use Tron as an entry coin to get into the crypto market. Gateway coins are coins like uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum or Ripple etc and these coins get a lot of extra trading volume simply because people cannot buy small coins like Sofia TX directly with fiat. They need to first change their fiat into a gateway currency before buying crypto to crypto. So therefore any um, gateway currency serves like a middleman currency and gets extra trading volume. And now Tron is going to be one of those big boys in the gateway list. Now, if Tron had all that momentum and price rise during their testnet, imagine what mainnet launch is going to do. Tron's mainnet is going to be launched on the 31st of May, and I'm expecting that its price is going to start rising at least two weeks before that. Already, some of the shilling has already started. Tron is promising a mainnet will see 10,000 transactions per second, making it one of the fastest platforms currently working on the market. Also was announced that Bitrix will support the Tron mainnet launch and what this means for those who are new to the crypto space is that currently Tron is an ELC20 token as the project is still on Ethereum network. But with mainnet, Tron is essentially launching their own blockchain and so they will leave the Ethereum network. As they leave their Ethereum network, the tokens which are now ELC20 tokens will have to be converted over to native Tron tokens. Usually this uh, conversion process can be a bit troublesome which involves moving your uh, tokens from the exchange to a private wallet etc. But Binance typically was the only exchange that would do the token conversions for users. 
Lately, more and more exchanges like KuCoins are also stepping up to support the token swaps, but it's big news generally that Bittrex will be supporting Tron's token swap. Now, six weeks ago, Tron was really stuck around the number 15 or 16 on the market and currently is now in the top 10, having pushed NEO out of the top 10. I can't believe it. Tron's actually taken over NEO's spot in the top 10. Nothing bad about Tron. I hold some Tron tokens, so I'm actually glad that the price is rising. But NEO is generally a very good solid project, so I'm, I'm surprised that NEO got pushed out of the top 10 and I'm really just waiting for NEO to do a big rebound sometime soon. Now, currently Tron is sitting at 88 cents, uh, no sorry, 8.8 .8 cents. At its all time high, Tron was sitting at 30 cents, this was back in January. And about 5 or 6 weeks ago, Tron was really struggling at the all time low of um, 3 to 4 cents price point. But over the last 6 weeks, as you can see from the graph here, it has really gone up over 2.5 times and is now sitting very comfortably above the 80 cent price point. My guess is that if the market stays green and the market keeps rising, Tron's price point might hit 15 cents or more, maybe even 20 cents with the main net launch. On the normal month, okay, the, all these news about Tron will make Tron the biggest coin news of or the biggest coin to look out for for that month. But May is not going to be a normal month and there is actually one more coin on the market that has even more hype than Tron at the moment and that coin is of course EOS. Now, EOS has been an absolute beast <laughs> of a coin in the month of April. Just a month ago, EOS was sitting around the price point of $5, and right now it's sitting at the price point over $20. It's literally seen a 4x growth, 400% growth in just one month. Furthermore, if you take a look at the big view of the coin's history, EOS is currently the only coin in the top 10 that has recovered to a higher price point than its previous high. In fact, as we mentioned earlier, most of the coins on average now are only recovering to a third of the previous high. So the current price point of EOS being higher than its previous high is, is simply crazy. Over the past two weeks, you know, on some days when other coins would see 5 to 8% growth, EOS would see anywhere between 60 to 70% growth. Just look at how steep the, the rise has been for EOS over the last couple of weeks and how consistent it is as well. In my opinion, over the last month of April, EOS is really the only coin that has seen a genuine bull run. The reason for the recent hype has been manifold, including the launch of the EOS Dawn 3.0, Itoro's decision to offer trading for EOS, they had a strategic partnership as well with Michael Chow and Winning Liu for 200 million fund, another 100 million dollar joint venture within that. So you know, EOS has really gained heaps and heaps of momentum. The best part with all of that momentum is that it hasn't even hit mainnet launch. EOS is going to launch its mainnet on the 2nd of June. So it's not really in May, but the FOMO is going to start in May. You know, the FOMO isn't going to start just on June the 1st. It's going to start a couple of weeks before that at least. I say at least because while normal FOMO starts about two weeks before, with EOS, they are trying to pump this really hard. They've actually created a whole website uh, with a countdown timer, as you can see. So I think the FOMOs have really started for EOS is just whether or not they can continue this throughout the month. Now, the big question is, will the price of EOS drop before, um, will there be a correction basically before the main FOMO for the main net? The investor's intuition is to say yes, and on technical analysis, they are a little bit oversold at the moment. But the truth is, in this market, no one really knows, and the current price point that they have right now already defies logic. So no one knows. I, I don't really know whether now is the right time to buy or whether you should hold off and wait for a little more for the price to drop. Personally, I think now the price point is a little bit too high to buy, so I'm going to sit out and wait, and hopefully, uh, catch EOS at the better price before the mainnet launches. Currently, EOS is sitting at number 5 on the market. Now, Just a couple of months ago, it was sitting very comfortably at number 10 and just a few weeks ago, there was a lot of news about EOS competing with Litecoin for number 6, number 7 position on the market. 
but now they've way past short Litecoin and even Cardano, and their market cap now is more than double Litecoins. The growth of EOS over the last couple of weeks has just been absolutely crazy. EOS is definitely a coin to watch out for in the month of May. One last coin that we want to recommend you pay attention to this month, well, it's not technically a coin of the market yet, but it's an ICO called Blue Whale. Blue Whale is Icon's first ICO and it's a decentralized freelancing platform that I think has a lot of potential. I also think that because it's Icon's first ICO, it's going to get a lot of attention and hype from the Icon community. Now, I don't recommend ICOs very often because of the high risk involved, but this is an ICO that I'm personally hoping to get involved in. I'm very bullish on this. I did a review on Blue Whale recently. If you're interested, definitely check that review out. So that's it, guys. That's our top coins in May to pay attention to. This is just our my personal speculation. None of this is financial advice or professional advice. So please always make sure you do your own homework and make your own decision. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, make sure you also check out our coin reviews coming this month as well as those that we've already done for Tron and Sophia. Also join our Telegram group to vote and tell us which coin you want us to review next. And if you have a minute, do let us know in the comments below which coins catch your fancy for the month of May. And if it's different from the ones that we've recommended, myself and others in the community can also learn from your recommendation. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and spending time with us. I hope you had a great weekend and we will catch you guys again very soon.